Hi Avinash, welcome on your PDR. Thank you, sir. Avinash, you are civil engineer and you are doing your master in geotech and that is in very prestigious institute, NIT Trichy. So I would like to interact with you and know more about uh, NIT Trichy and geotech and your journey post gate. So uh, Avinash, I start with your background. Please tell us about your uh, graduation. From which college did you graduate and uh, what was your CGPA and what was your gate score? Okay, I graduated from Garment Engineering College, Trishur, Joseph Kerala, and I passed with a CGPA of uh, 8 and uh, yeah, after uh, the graduation, I took uh, the co like I took the gate coaching from Ace Academy from Ace Academy in Hyderabad when I got there. Yeah, I took your course during this period. Like I, I was preparing for IIT's interview, so I took your PDA at that time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Avinash, uh, what was your gate score? Gate score was three fifty seven. Right. 357. Yeah, now, if I put your GATE score and your CGPA together, uh, have you mentioned about your BTEC college name, uh, Vinash? Yeah, Garmin Engineering College, Trishur. Okay, good. So, when if I put your CGPA and your GATE score together, uh, as per my knowledge, you can get MS calls also from IITs and all. Did you try for MS uh, in these IITs and all? I tried MS and I got MS in NIT Suratil, but I didn't get any calls from IITs. Okay. Okay, but uh, then I got I, I got a call from IIT Hyderabad also for geotech seat, and that was sponsored. So I okay, self sponsored, that. huh? Yeah. So that self sponsored is through written exam or something, or what is the procedure of self sponsored program? Uh, like uh, during the procedure, now each IIT called differently now. So mm. at that time they called for self sponsored also. So I applied for it. Then they called for an interview. So based on your gate. Okay, so Avinash, you were telling about the opportunities in MS, right? IIT Hyderabad self-sponsored yeah. program. Yeah, uh, at that time I got selected for that uh, for geotech in IIT Hyderabad, but that's what's self-sponsored. So the fees was too high for me, so I opted. Okay, Avinash, uh, I would like to discuss with you this case. This is very, very important and relevant. Like IIT Hyderabad, the self sponsored uh, fees is very high. And uh, students prefer NITs, uh, especially NIT Trichy, Warangal, Suratkal, compared to IIT Hyderabad because of the fee structure only. So, any idea, I mean, how much is the fees of IIT Hyderabad and uh, similar comparative analysis of NITs? Uh, if I recall, like uh, uh, there were, I don't like for each credit they are charging. So for each credit you add, you have to give money to them. So total it was approximated to to eleven lakhs something in IIT Hyderabad. And Good. in here, I think I could complete my course in like three to four lakhs. Yeah. So what is the total in IIT Hyderabad for two years? Two years, it's about 10 to 11 lakhs if it's self sponsored. Other than that, you will, you, uh, if you are not self sponsored and you got the seat directly through gate score only, then it's, uh, it will be very much less. Mm. And, but there are so yeah. many for, foreign universities also, like German universities and all, which are uh, providing even at the cost of IT Hyderabad also. Yeah. Mm. So that will literally, I mean, looks like high and self-sponsored program there are other self-sponsored programs also in india right at jodhpur and all ah uh, yeah but i'm not um I have okay. no information. so avinash did you try for cope also or it was only through uh ccmt no i tried tried through cope so with mm -hmm. cope id you could only register for iits now Mm. You have Copa ID or then you will be allowed to register for IITs. So you have, mm. you have to have that Copa ID to register to, through the IIT site. Mm. So so uh, could you get something through uh, COP in IITs? Yeah, I got IIT Dhanbad. Uh, the course was Earthquake Engineering and Science. Mm. 
ओके एंड दैट वाज इन आईआईटी खड़गपुर राइट नो नो आईआईटी धनबाद आईआईटी धनबाद ओके अर्थ क्विक दैट वाज एमटेक का या एमटेक ओके सो अविनाश एनी इंटरडिसिप्लिनरी सब्जेक्ट आल्सो इंटरडिसिप्लिनरी डिपार्टमेंट आल्सो यू अप्लाइड या आई अप्लाइड फॉर क्लाइमेट साइंस इन आईआईटी हैदराबाद एंड um one more i applied was in iit mm. that was environmental science mm. so any any particular idea which you can give to students you know those with these kind of scores where they can apply which uh, any idea which you want to share on the basis of your own journey in case of my journey like um, uh, like the entire gauge score of everybody got decrease i guess like compared to the previous year like the cut off was also decreased so that i could get this nit trichy for way less score than when i compared to previous year mm-hmm. so it depends upon the paper i guess so this year iic uh, bangalore was like conducted again now mm-hmm. so it depends upon the cut off which they give the cut off mm-hmm. plays a major role in what college you get so if you like the trend is usually the cut off goes down and down and down but it could also increase hmm okay and avinash now uh, coming to nit trichy please tell us about this nit nit trichy yeah it's a pretty big campus that i have to cycle a lot <laughs> in the morning okay. itself first tell so, us about the location north indian students are not even aware about the location so please tell them about the location first the location it's actually good but it's in a remote area so we have to like in the town you have all kinds of accessories you can uh, shops etc but it's far away from town so it's like 30 minutes journey from the central trichy so trichy yeah ah uh, mm. uh, yeah and the mm. climate is hot here so <laughs> if you could bear heat then you could mm. like so climate is uh, now, now. Uh, yeah, february may also it is hot february, huh? yeah it started increasing the temperature is now increasing yeah okay. but during the night it's cool <laughs> mm-hmm. okay is a coastal area is it no 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 it's not mm-hmm. not nearby coastal area like it's in the middle i guess okay like the nearby beach is like visakhapatnam uh, mm-hmm. is the nearest beach mm-hmm. okay okay and uh, what about the uh, you know uh, this uh, campus and uh, life in the campus and hostels and everything the life on the campus is pretty good because there is sports activities there is all kinds of facilities here mm-hmm. here itself and like going out of the campus you have to have a, like if you are going for a movie or something you have to travel a lot that's the main demerit that i facing now <laughs> okay <laughs> and what is the mode of communication between trichy city and uh, nit trichy uh, tamil is the main language which is spoken by the outside the mode of uh, mode of uh, communication means mode of communication oh, in the class and all uh, yeah mm-hmm. that's english strictly english so because in my class itself like in my class there is 25 people and there are all there are people from different parts so the only way communication is english and maybe hindi because hindi people tend to know more mm. so avinash how do uh, people go from uh, campus to city they go by bus or something or how do they travel yeah there there is bus and um, in the evening and in the noon time there is one college bus which is uh, that, like which goes to the town so you could hop into that also mm. and uh, how frequently students go to outside uh, cities and all It's- Mm, it depends upon the students means actually mm. uh, like for me i just went two days back because of mm. a movie that i want to watch that's it mm. and you have theaters and all ah huh? uh, yeah there are theaters good theaters here la mm. and all, yeah mm. and and what about the campus i mean hostel facilities and all you get accommodation and you get a single room and all a uh, single room you will get only in the second year so okay. may, for me next time i'll get single room mm-hmm. other than that you will have a three sharing room or two sharing room for mm-hmm. me it's two sharing now yeah mm-hmm. okay and uh, what about the uh, mess and food and all for me i opt for kerala mess so there is mm-hmm. a mess known as shabri here so mm-hmm. i'm from kerala so i do, usually uh, opt for that only so in mm-hmm. that it's pretty good 
Yeah. So there is a Kerala mess and then there is a state wise mess or what? Yeah, there is state wise mess. There is South Indian mess other than that. There is North Indian mess. There is about eight to seven messes inside boys boys hostel only. Okay, inside a boys hostel only. Yeah, uh, and there are all like it's far away from hostel also. Like the and their boys boys hostel campus is big, pretty big. You have to cycle. Mm. Mm. Okay, so cycle is the mode by which yeah, you travel. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> mm. And what about library facilities and all, uh, Vinash? Library, uh, like it's closed during the Sundays, but it's open uh, to Monday to uh, Saturday, and it opens around eight, and it closes. Ah, yeah, uh, it opens around eight, and it closes eight, like eight to eight. Uh, eight, to eight, to eight. Yeah. And then there is one, oh, like digital facility also, like uh, Orion. It's a digital library setup. There is that is also available in the camp. Mm. And uh, tell us something more about the facilities inside uh, NIT uh, Trichy. Not academic, but non-academic facilities, like uh, like canteens and all. Uh, they're there, no? Yeah, you uh, like there are all kinds of shops inside the campus only, and there is canteens and there is supermarket. Yeah, everything is available here and. Um, like if you go for sports, also there is wooden court and all, basketball. Yeah, everything is available. Mm. <laughs> and the surprising thing from my previous college was like they have that swimming pool and all. Yeah, in the campus itself, so you could mm. register register for that and go. Okay, mm. so you swim also? And I swim, but I didn't register this time because I don't <laughs> have so that much time. <laughs> Okay. Because we okay, have, just... in the second semester itself, the placement mm. training starts. So, <laughs> mm. Mm. and how are the placements in the campus, Vinash? Though this year it is downturn, but otherwise, how are the placements? Like we just started now. Like we, uh, like our training just started, so we have not that much information in hand. Mm. So, so uh, you people get the training. Uh, you get uh, basically training for the placement, huh? Yes, you get the training mm. for places. Mm, good. And Avinash, now another thing I would uh, like to ask you is like civil engineers, you know, normally they keep one of the option as a preparation also for various exams. They don't only depend upon the placements, but they keep, play, you know, preparation also one of the options. So for that, they want a course or some uh, institute where they can make a parallel preparation uh, so that it should not be very hectic and they make the balance. So, uh, is uh, NIT Trichy a suitable uh, place uh, for that? Like, if you could manage time properly, you could have time. Yeah, you could definitely have time. Because in the first year, there will be, like in the first sum, you will be taking subjects which was thought through gate subjects only. Mm -hmm. So, it will be continuation of that. In the second sum, you, could, you will be introduced to more complex subjects, like mm -hmm. towards your core. And after that, in the third and fourth sum, it's just your project. So mm -hmm. if you could manage your project, uh, like, yeah, you could find time to pro for preparation. Okay, so that balance can be done. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. definitely it can be. So typical, what kind of opportunity student explore from NIT 3 g in after masters? Like after masters, uh, usually people go for placements, and there are people who study for other exams also, and they crack it also, like. In my senior batch, there is two to three guys who cracked it, who mm -hmm. state PSC and all. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is wonderful. Okay, so that is wonderful, uh, Avinash. Anything you want to tell about uh, the courses in NIT 3 g or something? Or any message you want to give to the students who are listening to you? Yeah, it's an excellent college and it's a good experience until now. Yeah, for me, just one sum is over, but it was a pretty good experience compared to my BTPS. Yes. Mm. Obviously, this is a great institute and I'm sure, Avinash, you are going to have a really good, uh, you know, experience once you complete this uh, entire, your four semesters. I'm sure you are going to have a really wonderful experience and you're going to get a really good career. So, again, I thank you, Avinash, for your time and for giving the information to us about NIT 3 g Thank you. Thank you, sir.